What's up, YouTube? Sea Dog back with another Transformers review. This is the Transformers Reveal the Shield Voyager Class Grapple. This, I believe, is from 2000 and uh, I want to say nine. Rolls. Rolls quite well. Got pinned on wheels. Got painted silver rims. Fully pinned on. Got some little details painted on. You get some stripe, kind of hazard stripes on the sides of the vehicle. You get some windshields painted on. Or I guess those will be windows. You get the Reveal the Shield sticker. It works quite well, if you notice that. It was black before. And it comes out quite well. All you do is press on it. You get your little green or white Autobot symbol. Very, very nice. We got some translucent plastic for the windshield and the windows on the side. Even got some molded on. But you can see that you got some translucent plastic for the lights above as well. Caution lights. Gray plastic for the bumper, but we have some silver paint for the grill and lights area. Got molded on details there. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, different moldings. You can see pipes and tubes. Some circuitry and boxes molded on. That's what the back looks like. You have a few pieces of paint. And we also get some articulation. So we have this. We'll go out and we'll swivel back and forth. Like that. Then you also have it on this bar that works easier, but it's meant to go up and down as well. So let me just show you what's going on here. So all together, it goes up about nine inches high. It is approximately nine inches long uh, looks like less from there but yeah it's nine inches yep because it goes to the back of here not to where it looks like going back down yep so pretty cool and the truck itself is six inches long just about six inches exactly um, three inches high it does transform but as I was saying you can swivel that way and you can go up and down and I showed you that this swivels as well so we have a little bit of hollowness in kind of here but for the most part this is what non hollow transformers looked like it does have some flappiness to it but in robot mode but we'll go into that so for transformation, you want to start by kind of breaking up the where it tabs in, which is first here, flipping that over. Wow, that really activated long. Did you see it before? It was all black. It stays good. And... So you flip those up like that, swivel this down. We now break up these. They kind of latch in. You can see the latches are just going to... When you're going back, you just kind of latch it back like that. And, all right, might as well flip his toes down for when we get into robot. You want to go under here, uh, up here first, and there's a little tab that goes into that hole. So, yep. And you can now pull up these kind of, they seal is or the uh seam line is right there and that is these will turn it into the shoulder pads the, underneath as well they pop out from underneath come on buddy there we go so like that then you just want to lift these up for now kind of like that and ratchet these out on these swivel hinges so the shoulders would be like that 
Next, you want to, we're going to just adjust this because this will get out of the, in the way after. But we want it to go like that. Wait, what? Well, okay, flip these aside. Each on each side, there's two of them. Like that. All right, we'll do the, the, the shoulder pads next. So keep the arms down, flip this forward, and just like that. You can also do it like, eh, pretty much like that. You can also keep this open, but, you know, it's meant to do that anyways. So, like that. This, oh, that's right. This swivels on its own. And then you swivel this to the back. So you kind of swivel it up like that. Swivel it to the back. All right, next, you want to go under here. You want to first flip the wheels in. And then we rock that forward until it makes it click. The weird part is these just kind of rest up there. There's no, like, if it tabbed in, that might have been things better. And it almost looks like it would be a magnet, but it's just a pin. They just rest up there. I'm not sure why they decided to go that route, but flip that down. Flip these 180 to the front. They're, they were in the back. Flip them to the front. Make sure everything's tabbed in and secure these up. All right. Oops. Like that. Up these to the front. Run 80, so you got the elbow bend. Next, this part's really cool, in my opinion. We'll raise that up. Let's get these lights out of the way. All right. All right. You want to pull this out of the way at first. Then you come over here and you, I think you push it back right here. Or maybe it's, uh, yeah, that was back. Maybe this one. Hold on. <sighs> Making me look like a fool. There we go. Oh, you push it forward. So it's like that. You push this forward right there, this w one side, and you get to reveal the... Pop up the head, reveal the shield. The, all the reveal the shields have a little uh, head gimmick. What do they call it? A head reveal gimmick. There. Um, just trying to get these all to line up better. And then, so this doesn't swivel around, the coolest part is, the part I was saying was cool, is you flip that up and that like that, and it secures it in there nice and solid. So that is Reveal the Shield Grapple in his glory. And like I said, he does have some wobbly hips a little bit, but he still can stand no problem. He's just, I'm just, I can't see what I'm doing because there's everything in the way. There we go. Now I can. There. As you can see, he still stands no problem. Let's get the lights on him better. There we go. So, very cool figure. I'll go back a little bit. And as you can see, stands no problem. And you can always open these up for more articulation. You can also swivel it out. You can swivel out to there. You get a ratchet for the joint there. Get a 90 degree, degree bend at the elbow. And you also get this kind of joint, which is, you know, your outward joint a little bit over 90 um you get the bicep swivel and i don't believe you have anything in the hands which is weird because back then you'd have there was a lot of hand swivels but not then or wrist swivels i guess like i showed you with this you get this swivel right here plus this will swivel on its own that's one thing i didn't show you in uh, truck mode was that it, it swivels up here but it's it's easier to swivel here so it's hard to uh, it's easy to not show that off, but you get the swivel head and it will go up a little bit and down. And that's not using the piece, that's just the ball joint itself. See? So you got a ball joint. You get a little bit of cocking too. So you get physical faces and whatnot, which is cool. Um, you can forward kick about that much. You get a knee bend 
you get a swivel, kind of like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle swivel. So you swivel, and then you kick out. You don't, like, get the thigh swivel. You know what I mean? There's no, like, to do that, you would have to make him look like, yeah. It's it's a weird, it's a weird thigh swivel. You know, my classic sitting pose thing I just try to show, but no, not, he can't do it. Anyways, uh, but he does have feet movement. You can go down a little bit, up. So you get a little bit up and down on the foot. And it also even tilts at a slight degree. So that is his articulation. As you can see, he does. he's easy to flop back, but he's easy to stand as well. He's very well balanced. Uh, Raffle. But. And then we'll just show you how to turn him back real quick after we go over his details real quick. So we still have the silver kind of showing up. You can see the seats in there that you don't... Really, you don't really get a, a good point out in the alt mode part. But you can see the blue eyes. Those are translucent, as you can see there. Uh, he is I'm trying to show it better. But in certain lights, it does look right. Maybe not right when the light's directly in it like that. But like that, you can see very nice effect. Silver paint for the face. And we got some silver kind of uh, cuffs, painted cuffs, looking nice. And then silver on the tops of the feet. All in all, not a bad little figure. To transform him back, we want to... Uh, we're going to just lift these up to get them out of the way for now. We're going to flip this up. We're going to go back here, pull this out, flip this back in. It will rest like that. And then do this. Now we're going to want to rock this back out. And to prevent it rocking again, we'll just flip out the wheels. Because once you flip the wheels out, it locks it completely. So we'll flip the wheels out. Then you got that going. You want to revert this 180. And flip down the toes backwards. Like that. 180. Flip the toes backwards. Like that. Then we're going to attach everything just so it doesn't flip around. You got tabs and holes up there. Uh, if it will attach, that is. All right. Like that, yes. Now we want to rock these back. And we're going to pull this out. And that will happen if you're not careful. There's just a peg in joint. Some of those type of deals. But it does... Oops pop back in but you got to make sure this is below see what the problem was it's not going above so it needs to swivel back over it and then you want these on the outside so these pop out for the outside and then we now line things up like that like i was showing you in the beginning kind of like that that'll allow you to put this these down, which why does everything get in the way? There we go. You want that to come out now, and it will everything will fit together. There's a little peg right there that pegs into the back of that, and then this flips back and secures one side. Same thing on this side, this goes out. You want to peg those that peg right there into that hole. Flip this out while we secure this part under here. That secures the second side. Give a good squeeze there. Push that forward because it's, it's probably going to fall. And make sure everything's lined up on this side. And then you just kind of rock that back in there. Pull this out just a tad. Like that. And you have them back into robot mode let me know what you think of the review leave a like if you liked the video subscribe for more toy reviews and as always stay awesome stay subbed and stay tuned for the next video there's some size comparisons for you and here's one more so peace that's a wrap i'm out